talk us through the four profiles that you came up with and explain what they mean. I'll, I'll talk you through the four profiles. There's the rock. The rock is someone who, if I was to say to them, do you have needs? They'd quite likely look at me blankly. There's something about, I'm a rock. I am self-sufficient. I'm self-reliant. I'm somebody who is independent. I'm thick-skinned. I'm broad-shouldered. People come to me for help. Actually, I'm a resource. I'm the one that people turn to in a crisis. I'm the shoulder to cry on. I'm the fixer. This, the problem-solving capacity of a rock knows no bounds. And the thing about a rock is they are great in a crisis, but sometimes they need a crisis to be great. The gladiator is the profile that I see least often in therapy, which doesn't mean that they are least present in society, far from it. But the gladiator typically, if I said to them, do you have needs? They'd go, yeah, sure. And I'd say, you need people to help you meet them? Nope. I take what I need. There is something about a gladiator that's a very, very confident, very determined, ambitious, powerful person. They are somebody who believes in their own worth. They, they make demands on the world, sometimes to the detriment of their loved ones, because sometimes their demands make them seem a little selfish, bullish, maybe even a Bit cutthroat at times, but actually it's in service of leadership and driving things forwards and getting results. So you see these people quite often in leadership roles. Profile number three, that's our hustler. Now the hustlers are fantastic creatures. These hustlers are energetic, they're creative, they're flexible, they're adaptable, they're really great at charming a room, they're really great at negotiation, they're really fleet of foot and agile in terms of the way that they look for solutions and the way that they get their needs met. When I say to them, do you have needs? Yeah, definitely. Do you ask people for help? Not directly. This is the person who actually kind of pulls strings at the edges or tries to influence other people rather than maybe stamp over others like a gladiator could or say what they need directly. So sometimes, without meaning to, our hustlers can actually be a bit manipulative at times. There's sometimes the people pleasers in the world who've worked out how to organise the reactions of other people to get what they need, not to do harm, but because maybe they don't have the confidence that they're allowed to have things the way they want them. Let me tell you about the fourth profile. That's the bridge. So the bridge is someone who definitely has needs, wouldn't dream of taking from others to get what they want, actually wouldn't even feel comfortable necessarily doing that kind of working the room from the wings piece like a hustler would. Actually, our bridge typically accepts things as they're offered to them. So they really are that more easygoing character in a relationship. We'd probably see them and we'd describe them as calm and cooperative and collaborative and flexible and laid back. And actually what we're also describing is somebody who perhaps has learned to take up very little room. In fact, only the amount of space that is made for them and to work out how to change their shape to fit the space that they find themselves in. So sometimes in terms of what a bridge can be missing, it's actually about having power, not power over others but power over themselves. Unfortunately, they can get strapped into the passenger seat of life. And through the very efforts they make to not upset anybody, actually they can end up causing friction and frustration because they never show up. So in terms of what they're missing, it's that power so that actually other people aren't left with the responsibility for them. That is my whistle-stop tour of those profiles. 